Welcome back. We're uh, visiting with Hallie and Oliver about how what we can do really just as one individual person to stop bullying that we know mm -hmm. is going much more uh, just out there a lot more these days with social media. So Oliver, do you want to uh, read a couple pages for us out of your great book? Wait, can you see it? Yeah, they'll be able okay. to see it. Did you sign that for for Christy? No. <laughs> <laughs> that cursive looked good, though. It did. I was like, wow. Yeah. Blue was a was a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves, and on days he felt daring, splashing in rain puddles. I like to do that. <laughs> Every once in a while, he wished he could be more sunny, like yellow, or more bright, like green, or more regal, like purple, or more or outgoing, like orange. But overall, he liked being blue, except when he was with Red. Red was a hothead. He, he liked to pick on blue. Red is a great color, he'd say. Red is hot, blue is not. Then blue would feel bad about being blue. Sometimes yellow comes to blue. Blue is a very nice color, she'd say. But yellow never said that in front of red. She never said, stop picking on blue. Green, purple, and orange thought blue was nice too. But they never told her to stop either. Every time red some said something mean and no one spoke up, he got bigger and bigger, and bigger. Oh, no. Soon, Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared to stop him. Red, pick on all, Red picked on all the colors. Then everyone felt a little blue. Oh. Did everyone and I felt know what? A little blue. Oh. And so this is going to be a book. We don't want to ruin <laughs> the rest of it, but it's going to be something that everyone gets to read in their class on Wednesday, as you said. But you have a grant that you guys got. So tell us about this. Okay. Well, um, when we came from school and I talked with my mom, we thought about what we could do to get it out there and how we could, like, do more than what we could just do. So mm -hmm. my mom brought up this thing called the Awesome Foundation and I applied for a grant and we made our own logo. Nice. And um, we, I met with the girl at Dairy Queen and we talked about it and what I could do like talking to the principals of DGF Glendon and Holly schools and then um, and then one, d one night I got a call that said I got the grant mm -hmm. and so I told all the principals that I got the grant, and um, we got more and more, and then now we're at where we are at. Yeah. And if people want to help you guys out, or maybe become part of this Team Awesome, I kind of want to call yeah. it, how can they you know, reach out to you guys and help make that one become even more people? Well, I think that we have the picture on Facebook, mm -hmm. and um, it's under the Awesome Foundation and um, we're gonna set up a fundraising thing too. Nice. I kinda want you guys to leave that book here so that I can read the rest of it so I can see what happens when all the colors might come together and stand up against red. I agree. Have you reached yeah. out to Jimmy Fallon yet? Have I reached out to him? <gasps> um, we should. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, wait, what? I think, <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> Maybe he'll put you on the show. <laughs> You're starting to blush a little bit because of Jimmy. <laughs> 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 to both of you, thank you so much for being here. Great work. We thank appreciate you. it. <laughs> <laughs> All we'll right, reach out to Jimmy for you. <laughs> we'll have some we'll Indian up. dancing when we come back. <laughs>